proud grandparents and eighth place finishers on this season of The Amazing Race. Derek and Chalisa join me now following last night's episode. Guys, so excited to speak with you. I have to know first and foremost, how are you feeling after seeing the episode that you were eliminated on? Oh, I actually got emotional again watching it. That was, you know, filmed in 2022. Um, but, oh, were you about to oh, say something? No, go ahead, you got the floor. No, actually, it was, it was, you know, knowing, knowing that we were coming out and, you know, keeping that a secret, everyone wants to know. So now, you know, my phone's still blowing up. It's, 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 you know, we, I didn't win. So it's kind of a relief now that it's over with. I can just chill. Yeah, but but watching it, it's like, why did we, you know, when you when you watch it over, you're like, why did we do that? Like, why do we make that mistake? You know, what 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 were we thinking? Actually, do you think about I mean, looking at your face right now? That was a million dollar mistake. I just right now, yes. I, right now, it, it just really, I swear to you, right now, it just it just hit me. Yeah. Right now, that was a million dollar mistake. mistake. Mm. That's really interesting. So let's dive into that a little bit more. Speaking of mistakes, speaking of maybe your downfall, kind of where do you think things went wrong for you guys I, um, I kind know of in the race? I know where it went wrong. Rip that thing open. It said, ride a bike or do a bolero. And me being the festive guy that I am, I'm like, Shalisa, we ride bikes every day at home. We, we got our Peloton. Peloton. Let's we we're, road bike. We're on the amazing race. Let's do this experience. Let's do something we've never done. That was dumb. Or can't even pronounce. Yeah. I didn't know what a bolero was. And then to top that off, when we get there, we see Melissa and Yvonne, and the guy says, okay, practice. I've never thrown a bolero one time. Practiced one time. I'm like, let's just do it. I'm overconfident, think that I can do everything. That's Derek, We're, which hey, is great. Hey, I mean, it's, it's that's why you married me, because I got some confidence. That is true. <laughs> dumb. Cost me a million bucks. Now that I think about it, dude, it never hit me right now. That stung. It's a million bucks. Mm. Yeah, that's hard. But at least you can know, or at least now you can know kind of where maybe things went wrong. I feel like going back and acknowledging that is maybe important for kind of your own like mental health and kind of journey with the show, you know? So now um, I want to dive a little bit deeper into this last leg that you guys were featured on the show as well, because you touched on the bike there and kind of that being your problem. But, you know, towards the end, we didn't really get to see you guys really complete the race, but we know you completed it because we saw you on the mat. So why don't you kind of walk me through your last day on the show, kind of from your all's perspective? Okay, so we tear it. We we uh, go do the bolero. She says no. We go to the bike, do the bike run through that. Then we have to drive miles out to uh, the, racetrack. the racetrack, which is in the middle of nowhere. And then it says a sense of direction. It's like okay, I'm. I, I, that's me. It's it's a no brainer. We talked about that no brainer. So we're getting in this little car. I'm big. I got this hot, and we're driving. I'm like okay. I'm I'm pitching these loops. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. And then it's like, no, I gotta find out it's a puzzle. Now I gotta put this puzzle together. Which I should have done it. So there, there's, you know, a few things that, that we made major mistakes on, which is starting with not picking the bike and then um, um, not picking or switching detours. You know, we, we, you know, we had a game plan going in, like, okay, we're not gonna switch detours, we're gonna pick physical things. And then what do we do? We didn't pick the physical thing. We switched detours. And we always said if it's if we can figure out if it's a puzzle, then you know, I'm better at puzzles than Derek. But you don't know when you tear that envelope open. You right, don't that's know what I'm saying. That it's a and then when I was like, really? This is it? <laughs> like it's a puzzle. But now, but like, now oh but he probably picked wrong. <laughs> Monday morning quarterback because she didn't have yeah. to do that. She comes back and looks like everybody on TV. Oh, this was easy. That was not easy. When you get your orientation, now you got to pick these pieces up. And you only and, have three minutes. Yeah, you have, it's not like you have to turn it this way, this way, this way. And my first issue, I had to figure out where the starting line was. Once I got that, then it's like, all right. And I feel better now because I, I was bummed on myself that it took me however many times. But seeing these other but then folks. then you would see other people struggle, but this had helped. I yeah. So I, I think if, if there were wasn't that alliance that we we may have caught up and you know still been racing and especially uh it was a mega leg although we didn't get to finish the mega leg but we would have killed the fingerprinting we were like we were you know that's what we used to do powder tape fingerprinting figure it out i said oh man that would have been so much fun we would have killed it and, and you wouldn't be talking to us you today. wouldn't be talking <laughs> to us today
<laughs> well, I am happy that I'm speaking to you today regardless, <laughs> but I want to touch on something that you just addressed there briefly, which is kind of this alliance that we're seeing grow in this season. Expand on your guys' thoughts on that a little bit for me, because I will say, even as a viewer, it's a little bit frustrating seeing all these people kind of team up because it really kind of takes away that shot that you guys had if they're all just going to team up because it did seem like a lot of them are struggling at the puzzle as well. Yeah, I mean, that's another, like, man, if you, once you see it's like we had a shot, you know. But again, part of this race is, you know, it's it's a lot of pressure. You know, you, you want to compete, you want to get through it. And, you know, they, they played the game. I mean, they they boxed at the meat market. They boxed those other folks out, got it through, you know. But we didn't do that. I guess the independent part of it. Yeah. You know, we I helped think... out early on. We were, you know, the 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 our race daughters, our we, race we helped daughters. them out. The sister cousins. <laughs> so we we actually had an alliance that uh, that that wasn't shown on television, and that was at the statues. Uh, Kashuri and I uh, teamed up and helped each other. But then it became apparent because her map was on another side, mine was on this side, so we really you know couldn't uh, benefit one another. And then um, Yvonne at the statues. I had one statue that was off, and I couldn't figure it out. And um, and then when they finished. She, you know, I said, Yvonne, hey, can you take a look at my map? And so she paused and then she's like, oh, that belongs at the end. All right. And then I moved, I fixed it. They took off before us and we end up actually taking the more direct route and got to the map before them. And boy, was Melissa pissed. <laughs> she, I, we saw her face, and you know, uh, yeah, it, it was so. So there, there, there were alliances that that weren't shown. I mean, even though they were momentary, but I think because in um, in the lay that we got eliminated, we didn't get a chance to you know catch up. So I feel in our hearts that they they would have helped us as well, you know, because I mean, who? who, well, who I, I who doesn't want to help a grandparent, you know? <laughs> but, I, but I look at Melissa Melissa and Yvonne's experience. So they got bit by helping you because we got to the map before them. But then you saw how vulnerable they are when they needed help on something else. So it's it's very, very difficult. I remember episode one where she had Risk and Caesar bought the balloons and they turned her back. And she was like, ah. But, you right. know, they played the game the way they want to play it, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's really tough. But what I really appreciate about you saying all that, too, is I feel like a lot of this speaks to um, the stellar casting job that happened this season. I mean, this cast is really strong. You guys have been really fun to watch. Clearly, everyone's competitive. Everyone's playing their own game. And so it does make it exciting for the viewer in that way. Um, now, something else you just said was grandparent, kind of that buzzword that you guys used on this show. And I know that's really important to you. So I am curious, kind of how does your family feel after watching you guys back on the show and kind of knowing that you went through this experience? Well, it's well, it's funny. So, you know, we, we had no idea what what label we were going to get. But our law enforcement family and our veteran family, they were like, they chose grandparents. They didn't say like retirees, you know, prior law enforcement veterans, grandparents, because I guess we're, we're, we're not your typical grandparents or we don't, you know, look like, you know, your, your mama's grandparents, you know, so, uh, so, but, you know, I, I, I wear with a, a, a badge of honor because, you know, our, our grandkids are adorable. Um, and, and, and I think looking back when they get old enough to realize what, what we've done, they'll be proud to see us, you know, run our race and still be, you know, in somewhat good, good shape at our age. <laughs> so like one, one of our grandkids is nine, the other one's two. So the two-year-old doesn't really know what's going on, but the nine-year-old at our, at our premiere party was out there dancing and looking at us on TV. And so that, that, that was kind of cool. I mean, it's, it's, there's people that are amazing race, uh, true fans yeah, and, yeah. and that, that's kind of cool. You know, you go places, people want to talk, they want to, ask you so many questions and that's it's been a great great experience and i i think what would be cool is that when it with either one our grandkids whenever they get old enough if they decide to go on the amazing race oh my gosh that would be like in 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 an, an amazing thing to you know to see and experience knowing that their grandparents were on there yeah, absolutely. That's really, really special. And I love hearing that the nine-year-old got out and was like dancing at the party. I feel like that kind of makes it all worth it, right? So, <laughs> um, so excited. yeah, so you guys, you know, you obviously have been together a long time. You've lived a very good life, kind of had a lot of different things happening kind of as you've touched on. So what's maybe something that you feel like you like learned about each other, maybe grew as a couple by being on the race together? 
I learned, you know, I always knew that Shalisha was strong, but you know, people don't know that unless they going through this experience, it's a lot of pressure. Um, and, and she didn't fold. She, she stepped up to the plate and she got a base hit every time she was up to bat. And so she's, she's, she's the poster child for a, a strong woman. And uh, she held her own. It wasn't like, you know, some teams where the, there's one person that does everything. She's, she's talented. She's, She's a, a handy woman. She's a, a craftsman. She's a puzzle person. She's athletic. She's easy on the eye. So I think that's why everybody everybody loved her out there. So that that was good for us. I mean, that that was we didn't embarrass ourselves. We had a great time. And I think for me, uh, you know, Derek Dar can be a, a little impatient. So what I enjoyed watching was his growth in that area. Um, because there were some stressful moments where, you know, if it was anything outside of the race, he's like, I'm retired. Why am I doing this? I, I, I don't need this. I mean, I don't, everybody could use a million dollars. That's not what I'm saying that he doesn't need a million dollars, but you know, for him to just, you know, stick with it and not give up and be patient. Uh, that was actually something great to see in him. And I, and, and that, that was actually a, a, a very proud moment for me. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and I feel like that those really both are great examples of, you know, very real things that you guys um, are learning out there. And what I love too, really, you know, is something I've always kind of said is the romantic couples are sometimes the most interesting duos to watch because we see a lot of them kind of crack. But you guys really, I felt like very much supported each other, proved, you know, you had something to prove out there and you definitely proved that. Um, and so, yeah, I appreciate you sharing that with me. My final question that I ask every team, would you guys return the race if, let's say, Phil calls you back and he's like, guys, do you want to come back? And race around the world mm, no <laughs> I, I hate to say it i love the amazing race yes. but you know the sequestered part was really yeah, being tough sequestered in the hotel you know and if we did return we're older you know your brain your brain doesn't you know work as quick as you know as, as it did when you're 30 so you know to come back you're still racing against your kids, basically. So although it, it it would be, you know, flattering, but I would have to politely decline. And so what what it, what, what I think what she's saying is not coming across is is life is short, and the, the experience was great, but we didn't understand that sequestered part of it. That that's the part. It's like, man, we're we're in uh, Medellin, but you 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 can't enjoy Medellin. If if you can do that part, if if they tweak the rules. So when you're, you know, when you're done racing that you can just do a little sightseeing kind of, you know, decompress and, you know, just get out of the, the hotel room. Then we're in. Then, yeah, we're in. But I love the experience. That's a question. <laughs> That's part. A like, that was that was just that, yeah, that was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I can appreciate the honesty, so I appreciate you saying that. You are the first team to say no this season, so that's interesting. But, hey, maybe they'll make some adjustments if you guys come back. Well, Shalisa, Derek, thank you guys so mm -hmm. much for your time. It was so great getting to meet you all, all right, and speak nice with you. you. And best of luck on whatever's next for you guys. All right, all right thank, thank you. you. Thank you.